For more free African history resources, please go directly to our website or click the links below. The spread of Islam in West Africa. Now, if the first large groups of West Africans to adopt Islam were the merchants, then the second group were the courtiers and rulers themselves. Eventually, via increased trade, the religion of Islam spread across other regions of the African continent, gaining more popularity in various West African empires. For example, the Ghana Empire would be established by 300 AD. The Ghana Empire covered a much larger region than modern-day Ghana. The total territory encapsulated modern-day Mali, southern Mauritania, and the area between the Niger and Senegal rivers. On the west coast, amongst kingdoms such as the Ghana Empire in the early days, Islam was tolerated, but the elite at first did not convert, preferring instead to continue with traditional African traditions and religions. However, this trend would change over time. By 800 AD, the religion of Islam had spread across the Ghana Empire through increased interactions between the Soninke Africans of West Africa and the Berber Africans of North Africa. Once trade began to increase between the African Berbers and the Ghana Empire, the Islamic traditions, religions and customs were slowly introduced. The capital of the Ghana Empire was Kambu Saleh. Originally two cities, the city grew to house a very large population and eventually combined into one city with two sections. One side of the city was named El Gaba, which was the location of the royal palace and the wealthy members of the empire, whose homes were constructed from stone and it had only one mosque for visiting merchants. The other side of the city was the trading centre and mostly populated by the West African Muslims and also consisted of Berber Africans from Northern Africa. This side of the capital was home to 12 mosques and was inhabited by 30,000 people. This division reflected the continuance of indigenous animist beliefs alongside Islam, the former being practiced by rural communities. By the time of the rise of the Mali Empire, however, Islam was more deeply embedded into the fabric of the empire. The Mali Empire The Mali Empire was established in 1235 AD. The Mali Empire was located in the region of modern-day Senegal, southern Mauritania, Mali, northern Burkina Faso, western Niger, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea, the Ivory Coast and northern Ghana. By 1350 AD, the empire covered a territory of over 470,000 square miles. The first convert to Islam within the Mali Empire was its founder, Sundiata Keita, who practiced a loose form of Islam, often combining Islamic and indigenous West African beliefs. This was also the case for the majority of the population at the time, and generally the leadership of the Mali Empire were usually Muslims. The Malian king, Mansa Uli, who was the second king, went on a pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca in Arabia, modern-day Saudi Arabia, and he was the first ruler to do so, establishing the tradition. It was with the rise of Mansa Musa Kaita I, who came to power in 1312 AD, and the large quantity of trade and commercial activities which saw the explosion of Islam across the empire. African Muslim traders operated various networks across the empire and the surrounding regions and with this more and more of the population converted to Islam. Eventually, a class of highly educated West African scholars and clerics would be established, many of which studied in the northern African city of Fez in Morocco. Muslim clerics often made themselves very useful to the community in practical daily life by offering prayers on request medical advice, interpreting dreams, and performing administrative tasks. An association then with Islam oftentimes brought a certain prestige to its adherents. 
In addition, small changes in customs were observable in Mali, such as modesty in the dress of women and the adoption of names associated with Islam, although they were usually blended with traditional African names. West African Muslims would find other ways to incorporate Islam and their traditional beliefs. For example, before the arrival of Islam in West Africa, women and children often wore amulets for protection. An amulet is a good luck charm, usually an object or piece of jewellery. In Mali, with the arrival of Islam, this practice continued, but their amulets began to include Quranic verses or prayers. In this way, they managed to mix Islam with some of West Africa's indigenous beliefs. The introduction of Islamic law, also known as Sharia, would also have some effects on life in Mali. The term Sharia refers to God's immutable divine law. For example, many rural West African societies considered previously that land belonged to the community, while Islamic law emphasizes individual ownership of land. The famous Malian king, Mansa Musa, further cemented Islam throughout the empire as he was an extremely devout Muslim and used his immense wealth for the propagation of Islam. Under the leadership of Mansa Musa, the empire established ambassadors across northern Africa and the capital of Mali, which was the city of Niani, was visited by Islamic scholars from various regions. When Mansa Musa returned from his pilgrimage to Mecca, he brought back with him many Islamic scholars from other regions of Africa and established them in Timbuktu. New mosques in Gao, Jene and Timbuktu were constructed, as well as new courts of Islamic law. In Western Africa, the Wangara were, and are, a merchant class who developed a series of sophisticated trade networks across Western Africa. The Wangara were descended from the Soninke ethnic group of West Africa, who were located in modern-day Senegal, southern Mauritania, the Gambia, Mali and Guinea. The Wangara were also Muslim and specialised primarily in the gold trade. Via the Wangara, Islam was further propagated through trade. The Kanem Empire The Kanem Empire, also known as the Kanem Bornu Empire, was first established in 700 AD in the area of North Central Africa, which covered the region of modern-day Eastern Niger, Western Chad, northeastern Nigeria, northern Cameroon, and southern Libya. Gradually, the region of Islam came to have some influence in the royal court of the Kanem Empire. King Arku was an early ruler of the empire and the successor to King Arku, his name was Queen Hawa, was the first member of the royal family to embrace and convert to Islam. In 1067 AD, Queen Hawa was established as the first Islamic ruler of the Kanem Empire and ruled for a total of four years. Her successor was also an Islamic ruler named King Abd al-Jalil, who came to power in 1071 AD, and his successor, King Hume Jomi, who came to power in 1075 AD, founded the Sefuwa dynasty which would not only become the ruling class of the kingdom, but more importantly, made Kenem one of the most powerful Islamic African kingdoms on the continent at the time. The ruler Maidunama II came to power in 1210 AD and ruled until 1248 AD. Maidunama II was also a very devout Muslim and commanded a powerful army inclusive of thousands of men on horseback expanding the size and power of the empire. Maidunama II also developed excellent relationships with the sultans of northern Africa. He soon established an embassy for the Kanem Empire in Tunisia and a hostel and school in Cairo, Egypt for Muslims from the empire taking their pilgrimage to Mecca in Arabia. Islam would go on to influence many other West African nations.